Suicide hotlines across the country have seen an uptick in calls since President-elect Donald Trump's win last week. Crisis centers in our area have also received more calls for services. WNCT's Zora Stevenson found out today centers in the east aren't blaming the increase on the election. An increase in calls. That's what crisis centers like Integrated Family Services are dealing with right now. A lot of the calls that we receive are for individuals that are experiencing um, depression, increased anxiety. In the past two weeks, calls for service at a number of mobile crisis centers have surpassed those of October. National hotlines say the increase has a direct connection to the election. Brigitte Morris at Integrated Services says not so fast. We don't really know why um, we're seeing these trends. We haven't been able to track a specific reason. Across Town, psychotherapist Leon Johnson tries to explain why more people are reaching out. Because of the election, I'm sure that that has some contributing factor, but I don't think that's the end all be all. Johnson says calls are always up this time of year. He says the holidays stress people out, add a historic election season to the mix, and elevated calls shouldn't be a surprise. This time of year, we tend to worry. Um, the election was something else that made people worry even more. Back at Integrated Family Services. We definitely look at the elevated causes being that our um, approach in getting out in the community is working. We are educating people on mobile crisis services and hopefully we are reducing the unnecessary linkage with the hospitals um, and those types of services. Morris says elevated calls aren't a bad thing. In Greenville, Zora Stevenson, not on your side. A link to the mobile crisis hotline is on our website, WNCT.com. The nonprofit serves multiple eastern North Carolina counties.